Hi, it's me again. I'm going to read a book to you all, and it's going to be great. It's called Miss Maple Seeds. So this story was written and illustrated by Eliza Wheeler. You know, front cover, back cover, it's fine. All right, so. If I can keep the book open, that would be absolutely fantastic. On a bright August morning, Miss Maple flies home. She has hurried ahead of the flock to get ready for her guest. Y'all don't need to push each other out of the way. I still want y'all to sit on your body. Miss Maple has traveled all summer long searching for the land of orphan seeds that got lost during the spring planting. She hopes to help them grow strong here in her tall maple tree and get ready for next year's planting. She learns each seed by heart, all similar yet none the same. Take care, my little ones, Miss Maple says, for the world is big and you are small. And it has all the different seeds. That is really nifty. I like that. Miss Maple takes them on field trips to learn about being a seed. Some will be carried by the river and land in, a, in soft, muddy soils. Friends of the river will help them bloom in safe places. They tour the grassy fields and thick forest. Many seeds will be blown here, where rich soil will keep their pods healthy and the sun and rain will help them grow tall in bustling gardens. Seeds must take care to stay clear of weedy characters. So these are the weeds right here. And usually weeds are, you know, they're not, they're not friends for the, for the uh, flowers. They're not friendly. They, they want to take over. But Miss Maple's not going to let that happen, I hope. Snuggled and eat Snuggled in each night, Miss Maple reads flower tales by firefly light. Before going to bed, she whispers, Take care, my little ones, for the world is big and you are small. Winter comes with the snow, a time to stay, stay cozy and dry. Neighborhood friends gather to share their supplies of hot maple syrup, old corn husk, and juicy fruit rinds. Together they pass the long months with stories and songs. Can y'all see? When spring comes, thunderstorms pour curtains of rain. Don't be afraid. Raindrops help us grow. Miss Maple says to the seeds, they learn to dance and burrow down into the muddy ground. On a windy May morning, the last spring petals drift down from the sky. The time has come for Miss Maple to send her seeds off to find roots of their own. They set out on an exciting new journey into the wide unknown. Some seeds will take root in nearby gardens, while others will travel on distant winds and faraway tides. 
You see them falling from the tree. She's sending them on. Miss Maple has given them guidance and love. And now her part in their story has come to an end. They say goodbyes. Excuse me. They say their goodbyes with sweet memories, past and bright futures ahead. This is really pretty. As Miss Maple gazes out across the land below, she whispers, take care my little ones, for the world is big and you are small, but never forget. Even the grandest of trees once had to grow up from the smallest of seeds. Into the evening, she sips her green tea in the quiet hollow of the old maple tree. But the end of each season is the start to the next. One summer morning, Miss Mabel grabs her willowed hat, whistles a merry tune, and sets off to follow the faraway call of other lost seeds waiting to be found. And that is the end. A round of applause. Okay, um, this is really cute. It's about growing up and, you know, and plants and growing into being the person you're supposed to be. It's really cute. I love it. So I'm going to go now and uh, I will see you guys later. 